Hello, 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 and welcome back. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Do you know what? I feel very um, army themed today. Like I've got some cargo pants on. I kind of feel like, w wait, hang on, hang on for a second. Have you seen the Spice Girls movie, Spice World, from like the late 90s, early 2000s, and, and when they were at the army boot camp? Hey. You're the dance hey. teacher, Mr. Step. That is correct. The army boot camp, and it's giving, it's giving ginger spice at the army boot camp. Although that won't apply to you. Do you know what I mean? Do you see it? We're the Spice Girls, yes indeed. Just your power is all we need. Do you? Yes? We know how we got this far. Strength and courage in a wonder bra. Do you know what? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Anyway, today we are playing Cabernet. I don't really know much about Cabernet. It's one of the ones I had on my list from Steam Next Fest. I know that we're a vampire and that's really about it. So having said that, let's go. Eastern Europe, end of the 19th century. Oh, I'm gonna try my hardest not to do any terrible vampire accents. I can't promise anything, but I'm gonna Thank do you my all best. for coming here today to say goodbye to my Lisa. I never thought I would bury my own daughter, my own blood, my pride, yet. I... I can't do this. Go, please say something. The I, artwork... I just can't. The artwork's really lovely. I wonder if it was hand painted. There, there. It's all Andrews. right. <sighs> what can I say about someone dying so young? Particularly someone as special as Lisa. If I may, I won't dwell on the circumstances of her tragic death today. Instead, I'd like us to celebrate her life. Is this us? Is this us? How did we die? How did we die? What was the tragic Despite death? Despite her obvious calling for medicine. When she was little, I always thought she would... Despite her obvious calling for medicine, I always thought she would become a musician. A famous musician. You should have seen her with her fiddle when she was only five. The fiddle. instrument was half her size. But when she played, oh lord, <laughs> did your heart start filling up. Such a bright girl. Always a top student. Always the pride of her mo Parents. Oh, drama. By the time she graduated, Lisa must have read every book there was in the school's library. Yeah. To my shame, I'm not so well read myself. But she used to teach me about all the classics. Yeah, we did. She did, that I did. served me very well at dinner parties. I can't tell you how proud we all were when she was accepted at the medical academy. I had no doubt that she was destined for greatness. Yeah. But to become a doctor, one of the first women to achieve that in the whole country. <laughs> I feel like the way I've set up this character is like she's massively pivoted to science. Like there was nothing about her that screamed, I'm going to be a doctor. And then suddenly one day she was like, I'm going to be if a doctor someone now. someone deserved that honor, it was our Lisa. But my niece was so much more than a gifted student. She was a passionate artist. talents aside. Ooh. What everybody truly knew her by was her artistic nature and angelic voice. That be true. Do you remember her summer night performances at the cabin? Her singing, no matter the song, time or place, it felt like it spoke to you alone. Haunting, otherworldly, beautiful. <clears throat> She was my favorite niece. Let us raise a glass to her. Let us raise a tea to us. Pour some vodka for Korda too. <laughs> he is old enough to send his sister. But how, how old is he? How old is he? A piece of my soul went into the ground with her today, as I'm sure did many of yours. Let those pieces help Lisa, wherever she is now, to Lisa. To Lisa.
When I was a little girl, I often had trouble falling asleep. My mother used to sing me this lullaby to comfort me. Tonight, I slept deeper than I had in my entire life. I had a disturbing dream that a string was coming out of my mouth. It is kind of confusing that it seems to be set in Eastern Europe and yet everyone's American. When I started pulling it, I realized that it came from all the way down my throat, buried somewhere deep in my body. I kept pulling, but I couldn't go too quickly for fear of burning myself with friction. Why, why, why is she not more panicky about this? Finally, the whole string was out. Oh. I felt relieved, but also strangely empty. Empty of string? I realized that I was in my bed with my mother sitting beside me, crying. I didn't know why she was in tears, but I knew it was my fault. Did she see you remove the string? That would upset a lot of people. <gasps> Jeez. Mom? Cola? Wait, have we been grave robbed? My body feels like it's stuffed with cotton. I slept for days. Oh, oh, oh okay. I assumed that there wouldn't be. Either this is a nightmare or I'm in hell. This feels too real to be a dream. Old kerosene lamp someone left in their room. My medical journey from the academy and my family medallion. This here. Press tab to access the journal. Open tasks can be found in quest. Escape the chamber. So someone has grave grave robbed us, right? July. It's my birthday. Um. No. So I'm assuming we can't. Locked. Can we not just use our sharp teeth and bite our way out? Uh, call for help. Hello? Hello? Any is there anyone there? Walk up. Whoever it is does not want us to leave. Hello? Who is- I'm locked inside, please help. Didn't have like a creepy horror game on my, on my list this morning. Are you still there? Are you still there? Maybe you can't talk? Oh, we're gonna do it in knocks, that Morse code. Please knock twice for yes and once for no. Good, they've understood. Thank goodness. Can you help me open the door? Okay, go on then. Thank you. Thank you so much. Go on then. Will you help me? <gasps> well, I don't think we're going to be friends. What is it that you want from me? Yeah, to be fair, you did ask a very open-ended question there. I don't think they want money. Do you want a favor? I don't have much, but I can owe you a favor. What, like a... Like a favor, Do you know, like when they used to go jousting and they would give the lady their favor and it was just, you know, a piece of cloth. Like that kind of favor. You can have a piece of cloth. I've got a nice neckerchief you can have. And it's settled. Whoever you are, do you hear me? I think we'd be better at a favor than a treatment anyway because we've made it very clear that we didn't want to be a doctor. If you open this door, I, Elisaveta Morozova. Why is that debt. bit in an accent? Elisaveta Morozova? Like, uh, don't listen to mine, obviously. It was terrible. But why is that different? Ah! What the hell is this? My shoulder just felt like it was burning up. It, it was. I can't see anything from this angle. I should check up on was it that, later. Was there not a mirror in here? What do you mean you can't? You can, you can, I can see my shoulders. What's wrong with you? Okay, let's leave. It's open. No, wait, no, there was something on the table. 
God damn. What have I gotten myself? <laughs> I've completed my task. Access the character sheet to distribute Liza's new skill points. Oh. I feel like we should do science and logic because we do keep saying, well, other people keep saying that we are in medicine. And also history and politics. I really like history though. I'm gonna put the next ones into history and I'm hoping that it's not gonna be necessary to have any history right now for this first bit. New objective, seek a way out. Can we go this way? Oh, I do always like to check for secrets. Apart from when I just walk straight past obvious things on tables. Hello? Can anybody hear me? Fair enough. Hey, I love the picture. What a peculiar painting. Is it you, Oz? I have that though, right? <sighs> History seven. I mean, there was no way we could have done that anyway. Husband and wife in the picture don't look very happy. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really- yes, I'd say it wasn't the perfect marriage. Damn it. That's fine. There was only ever going to be one thing we could do there anyway. We've always got to try twice. Like a double tap kind of thing, you know? It smells like death here. Like in the academy when we left. There's someone's money in here. Just, you need to remind me to like, chill. To not walk past her. I could live on this for a week. I'm gonna take after all that has happened the money. I think I deserve this. I don't see the downside to stealing. Ah, uh, well, certain choices will provide you with humanity or nihilism points. Some choices will only become available to Liza after she reaches certain levels. I think that. I mean, we're a vampire. There's only so. Like, if you've seen anything to do with vampires, there's only the mirror is covered so by good sheet. you can be, you know? People only do that when someone dies. Mother explained that this is so the dead soul does not get lost in silly superstition, of No, no, course. no, we should take the- take it off. Remove it. Because we then... live in the age of science where there's no exactly, room for this Exactly, we're a scientist. <gasps> what is this? I am shocked, sir. Where is my reflection? I can't see myself. Yep, you're learning. It must be a trick mirror. Okay, that's fine. Double tap. Ooh, that's not good. Yuri. Hey, I have science it's three. Hard to say without seeing the face, but the stress. Could it be the same girl from the first painting? Oh wow, she is way more observant than me. So she grew up and then... <sighs> this is... Then what? Unbearable. <sighs> Give me strength, no matter what is on the other side. What in <laughs> heavens is all this? Oh dear. Oh, this is I awkward. I make sense of all this later. We're definitely, um, dressed for the occasion. Something is wrong. My head is spinning. I feel the floor slipping from under my feet. Alright, it's fine. Would you look at her? How does one have the gall to show at the Countess's manor in such a filthy outfit? In such a filthy outfit. She must be a nihilist. It's spreading all over the country like a plague. Are you... you don't know what you're talking about. It's the latest rage in Paris now. The dirtier, the better. Are they drinking wine? Or are they also like me? What about you guys? Have I... you heard? The Countess is sending me on a special assignment to the capital. Mm? You lucky devil. You lucky I've been devil. stuck here for years. I swear, I dull my fangs just to spend the night in the city. They are all vampires. And then surely you guys should know that when you turn to a vampire, you wake up in a filthy room. Miss, are you all right? No, I'm not. Mind your own business, Petya. It's rude to stare at a lady. I like that woman's hair. Sorry. That woman's hair is delightful. I'm starving. Oh, and the no. the food looks so fresh and delicious. If we eat this food, are we going to vom? 
The strangest thing is, I have absolutely no appetite for it. Someone, give me some wine blood. I know Ooh. it's not ideal, Countess Orlova, but I'm afraid there is not much we can do at this point. Of course, now there bloody isn't. Now the right there bloody isn't. Is last week. I don't understand where this influx of product is coming from. It's undercutting our prices. I really like Where that. were you when I... Who is this creature? Hello, I woke up in Darling, the basement. You look like a little domovoy. I don't know what that is. Come, come over here. Okay. I don't bite. I was going to say I really like her dress. Hello? Uh, I'm Lisa. You must be the doctor's new apprentice. Sure. Look at you, poor thing. You must be fresh out of the ground. Mm. Excuse me? Ugh, nobody must have actually inducted you. Nope, they just left me downstairs in a creepy cellar. How typical. No surprise with the men around here. Hussar, why is she in such a state? She was not supposed to wake. I'd love to catch you up, dear, but sadly I have some urgent business to attend to, thanks to this gentleman over here. <clears throat> Hussar, be a darling and show this young lady around once she's decent. As you wish, madam. Can someone just give me a really nice dress? Excuse me, I'll go for a smoke on the balcony. You can find me there. Oh, take me to the wardrobe. You're excused. We have changed. If I recall my first day correctly, your head must be killing you. Here, drink this. Thank you. <laughs> May I ask what this is? If you know too much, you'll grow old sooner. Trust me, it will lift your spirits. Like, actually grow old sooner, or is she just being metaphoric? Yeah, vampire mm. powers, drink it all. Whatever this is, it's beyond I mean, delicious. I think you would still know what it it's was, though, sweet, especially if you were a doctor. It tastes like cherry and wild strawberries. Thank you. I do feel a lot better all of a sudden. See, my biggest thing with this is that I'm way more of a savory person than a sweet person. And if that blood tasted, you know, like cheese, and pasta and bread and mash great but i don't think i could just have sweet liquid for the rest of my life now go change Death. we can't have you gallivanting around in those scrubs there is a nice dress about your size <gasps> in the cloakroom thank you kindly madam yay oh all over madam orlova you're welcome child oh was that my choice now off you go change and mingle I would have done the spit, the spit one if I got. I didn't realize. I thought I had to remember what her name was. When you are healthy, hold shift to increase your walk pace. Heck you. Oh, no, it's not a shift at all. Hi. Hello. Do you guys not want to talk about me at all? Countess is right. I should get dressed before exploring. Fine. Fine. Oh, oh. Countess is right. I should get dressed before exploring. Is this the way that she meant for me to go? I'm gonna look at things Another before I get Another cloth changed. on a mirror. Something bad must have happened. So strange. <gasps> this mirror doesn't work either. Woman! That should do it, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, we look fine. I still want a new dress the Countess though. sure has excellent taste in literature. In other circumstances, I'd spend all day here reading. Anything this way? Goodness, this must be the dress the Countess was talking about. Such an ornate Western style. It must cost a small fortune. I want nothing more than to change out of this horrible. No, nightmare. no, put the dress on. Put the dress this on. Is... Put the goddamn dress on. Yes. It's perfect. Yes. Fits like a glove. How did they know? How did they know that it would fit me so well? I'm ready. Everyone gaze upon me. Why does that man now have a tiny doll? I don't know what's doll? happening here, or at least I hope I don't. 
but delaying the inevitable is just tying my stomach in knots. I need to find that young man and learn the truth. Why does that man have a tiny doll? Why do you have a tiny doll now? I'm starving, no, I want and the food looks so fresh and delicious, but the strangest thing is, I have absolutely no appetite for it. She wanted to know why that man had a tiny doll now. What about these people? Oh, everyone's moved around. I don't like it. I just never know what to say to humans. To if I'm hum honest, I find them all a little dull. That's not fair of you to say, Margarita. Margarita. It's not their fault that they don't have the advantages of eternal life. I know. And don't get me wrong, some of my best friends are you. Also, human. you used to be one. <sighs> Sometimes I just wish we could convert them all and give them the proper life. We don't need your pity. But you just can't help everyone. Patronizing. You're my least favorite. And that includes the man with the tiny doll. Okay, we're gonna go find Hussar, Hussan. Good evening, Hussar. Ah, there's our bell of the ball. Lisa, right? You actually don't look half bad when you're not covered in oh, graveyard dirt. Oh, thank you, thank you. Look far better than you. Should be nice. Graveyard dirt? You might not give us any information if I'm immediately value. rude. Why is everyone going on about funerals? Surely an educated lady like you must have put together who we are by now, haven't you? I don't like him. I'd rather not guess. Please, just tell me straight. Who are you? Simply, we are vampires. <gasps> Mirror. Is this why I had no reflection in the mirror? I don't know how I was meant to know that was experience points. Is it because it was purple? If that's what you're concerned about, you look just fine. Am I does, dead? Does this mean I'm dead? Dead, alive. Who the hell cares? Well, I think she does. Trust me, Lisa. You just won the lottery. You did this to me. I don't even remember how it happened. That actually does happen quite a bit. That memory usually comes back soon enough. Who did it? Wait a moment. Uh, sure. Must be some sort of a defense mechanism that suppresses a traumatic experience. What about my family? When can I see them? I was worried you will ask me that. Technically, they think you are dead, and it is best for everyone if they keep thinking that. It's true, too. I can't just leave them like this. Look, I know this is too much for you to take in right now. This guy seems to be a bit of a bella. Maybe that's a conversation we should revisit another time. Alright, okay. I think we're smart enough and strong enough to have the conversation. I have so many questions. Uh, see, that's what I was afraid of. Ugh, can we just bite him in the neck be done with him? Theory is not my forte. I'm a proponent of learning by doing. Learning by doing. Why don't you go talk the ears off <gasps> some other guests while I finish smoking in peace? After that, I can show you what it's really like to be one of us. <sighs> don't like do you. Do Does that? it have to be you? Could you at least tell me a little bit about the people? Why are we being so nice to him? Oh, come on. Where is your spirit of adventure? I'm sure you'll figure it out on your own. All right, then. I'll go see if someone can actually help me. Meh. <gasps> All right. Thank you. Oh, kindly. he's so I'll irritating. The most no rush, irritating. Please. Yeah, I'm not going to rush. Don't really worry about it. Ball bag. Hello, guys. No, I'm not talk to you. I'm trying to socialize with them. You three. Come on. Don't any of you cowards want to have any fun? Um, uh, my lady, with all due respect, Russian roulette just seems like, um, too <coughs> much fun for the night. Uh. Fine, get lost then. <laughs> be on your merry way. You knew that the second time I die would be of boredom. Oh, wow, she is sappy. I like her, let's be her friend. Look, our dress matches her hair, so... That means we're friends now. Now, would you look at this pretty picture? 
Would you look at this pretty picture? I could barely recognize you from... before. Where did you get this dress? I stole it. It's a gift from the Countess. She is very generous. Huh. I thought it looked familiar. Name is Alisa, by the way. Why did question mark, question mark, question mark might remember this in the future? Lisa, it's a pleasure. I don't care about the young man from earlier. So, I've just been turned today. Congratulations. That must be quite shocking. Thrilling, even. Not really. I'm yeah. envious, really. Yes, thank you. I'm not quite sure how to process all this. I yet. mean, all that's happened is we woke up in a horrible cellar and then walked out a door and came to a party. That's not very thrilling. It's kind of more... gives me anxiety. What does one even do with this? Being dead? Drinking blood? Who knows what else? Same thing anyone around here does. Masticating plain eternity day after day. Sounds very boring. <laughs> Splicing it up any way you can. Fair enough. Hence the Russian roulette. Yep. We're already dead, aren't we? Do you Fair fancy enough. around? Yeah. Maybe some other Aww. time. Suit yourself. May I ask who was the young man you talked with earlier? Who, Petya? Why? Are you interested? Give me a straight Goodness answer. No. I was just making conversation. Don't be shy. We're not attached. I don't actually remember Petya. Petya is human. I picked him up at the town market. So he wasn't the ginger man with the doll. He is a salesman. A ridiculously bad one at that. If you two are not an item, may I ask why did you invite him over? Because it was my turn. A turn for what? <gasps> to spice up the eternity. Oh my goodness, we eating him? So, it's true what they say? Vampires live forever? We exist forever. We don't live. But then again, few do. Does this mean that we can't die? Uh, I mean, stop existing? We can't die. Uh oh, sweetheart. There is nothing easier. Just stop drinking blood for a few days, fall from a high roof, or just step into the sunlight. Why would falling from a high roof work? That seems... That doesn't seem like as fun. I should probably be writing this all down. So, now that you have eternity on your side, do you consider your existence more valuable? No, I would consider it less valuable. No, of course not. Pulse or no pulse, life is just as valuable as it always was. I see. In that case, how would you compare the value of your new existence to, say... Petya's. Petya's is more valuable because his isn't eternal, his I end. have to say Petya's. Right? Like you said, what I have now isn't really life. Fair enough. Still, it's an interesting thought experiment, isn't it? Indeed. Okay, Excuse I'm me. bored of you I now. I think someone is calling for me. You have nice hair, but I would like to leave. Ugh. I don't want to talk to you. Nope. Have you tried the Countess's Cabernet? Honestly, I think this may have been the best one I ever tasted. Is that him? I no. prefer to stick to clear drinks around here. If you really want to try some decent Cabernet, stop by my salon on the main street. Oh, that sounds like a challenge. Why would a salon I'll have take Cabernet? take you up on that offer. <gasps> Is it like Sweeney Todd's salon? Hello. I don't think I've seen you around here before. I'm Arbin. I'm Lisa. Good evening to you, too. Hmm. You don't sound so sure. Is it really a good one for you? Eh, uh, I've had better. You're right. If I'm honest, it hasn't been the easiest night. Hmm. That's what I thought. My advice is always be honest, unless you absolutely can't be. In the end, it does make everyone feel better. That's a good piece of advice. Stick with me, lovely. 
I'm chock full of them. Ooh, she called us lovely. We do match as well. Countess is wine. I couldn't help but overhear that you were a wine expert? I dabble. I run a literary salon in town and serve drinks there. What's a literary salon? I'm so confused. How exciting. All kinds of interesting people must come by. You'd be surprised, my dear, and mildly disappointed. <laughs> I'd love for you to stop by one day. I'll treat you to a round of something nice. Thank you. I'll make sure to visit. Since you're an expert, may I ask you about the wine that the Countess gave me? Mm, uh, I'll admit I found it delicious, but it wasn't really wine, was it? She's asking questions that she knows the answers to. It was not. Cabernet was sort of our code word for blood, so we don't shock any innocents. And then we just got used to it. Funny how language works, isn't it? Yes. Funny. <laughs> so funny. Arbin, I've only just been turned, and all of this is very new to me. May I trouble you for some advice? Hmm... I hope you don't mind me asking, but has someone in your family enjoyed wine a little too much? Probably the dad. Yeah. Yes. My father. Wine, vodka, anything he can drink, really. <laughs> you aren't clairvoyant, are you? One becomes a little clairvoyant if they live long enough and pay attention. I saw you drinking that glass earlier. And I think you should be careful around it. Oh no, dear. are we predisposed to an addiction? Alcohol's my father's problem. It isn't mine. It's not just yeah, alcohol it wasn't, you should it wasn't be concerned alcohol. about. Alcohol, it's fine. You can keep away from it if you want. Blood, however, you will now have to drink, whether you like it or not. Whether I like it or not. Demons are hereditary, my dear. Always remember that. Well, thank you for this delightful conversation. Well, I feel better. I should get going. Good luck. Thank you. I have a feeling yeah. we'll see each other soon. Delightful. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, the man with the weird doll. Hi. I do actually have a model right there. That was Petya!